As kids, we tend to believe that our parents are good and that everything they say is always right. We listen to what they have to say to us and we just simply obey. After all, they are our parents and we should listen to them. But as we get older, we start developing our own criteria. We start having our own experiences and we develop opinions and new ideas that are not always going to be the same ones as our parents, which is okay. So I'm going to start off by telling you a little, a little story that didn't happen too long ago. I was so excited about this party that was going to happen. All my friends were going to be there and I knew I was going to have a great time. Of course I needed to ask my mother for permission. So I spent about half an hour telling her about how cool this party was going to be and how responsible everybody was going to be. And I basically gave her many logical, good, valid reasons as to why she should let me go to this party. She was about to give me the permission that I was desperately wanting to go to this party, when all of a sudden I hear the words, hmm, that doesn't sound very safe. You should listen to mom. When did my sister show up to this conversation and just decided to butt in? That day, I know as unrealistic as this may seem, that day I realized how important it is to have critical thinking rather than just obeying or agreeing with what other people have to say, even if they are your parents. So when I talk about critical thinking, it's being able to look at something and being able to analyze and draw your own opinion from it. Of course you have to respect other opinions around you, but it's important to stay true to what you believe and yourself. But at the same time, something that I've noticed is that when kids don't always tend to agree with what their parents have to say, then parents are going to be a little bit hesitant about it. And parents need to understand that we as teenagers and young adults need to form our own ideas because that is what's going to help us to grow. So there's this study that I read the other day in Psychology Today from Carl E. Pickhart, which says that parental authority rests on two foundations. The leadership power to direct a child to do what parents want and the instructional power to educate the child about what they believe is wise. So when I read this, what the article was basically saying is that parents need to be able to identify the situation and when to walk up to their child and say, hey, what you're saying is valid, it is respectable that you have your opinion and I'm here to listen to you, and when to address the situation and say, yeah, this is what you think, but you should also take into consideration this factor and this factor and this factor. Being able to have a mature and educated conversation based on a topic. So, what normally helps shape our, our opinions and what we believe in, for this generation specifically, it's the internet. Because we're a generation that have grown with the internet our entire life, since day one. And the internet is filled with so many different thoughts and ideas that are actually uh, helping us shape our own opinion. And they have very valid reasons as to why we should believe that. So I'm going to expand a little bit on the technology part. So technology has greatly influenced all of us because, as I mentioned before, they do have a lot of reasons as to why we should believe this and there's different studies and there's different opinions and experiences that we can all look at and learn something from it, which we should. And the internet is a great thing and has provided us and helped us with so many things, whether it's schoolwork or just to look up a fun fact. But when it comes to being in a relationship with someone, it can be both good and bad. It's good because if you are a kid that is distant from your parents for, for whatever reason, it's great because your parents are always going to be one phone call away, one email away, one text message away, and it's a great way to maintain communication with your parents. But when it comes to a face-to-face -face relationship, that's when technology diminishes our humanity part. Because how many of us students have ever gone, gone at home after school and the first thing we do is lock ourselves in our room to either watch Netflix, scroll through Instagram, or just text with our friends. We don't always necessarily think about going to spend some time with our parents or our brothers or sisters or even our pets. We just are, are automatically consumed by this technology and are only interested in focusing on that. So 
Now, another factor that I would love to, like to talk about is about personal experience and perspective. So, perspective is practically a point of view based on a personal experience. So, something that parents do that I have definitely seen in the past before is that after a parent has experienced or has gone through a personal experience, they will automatically create their perspective based on that one time that they had that situation. And oftentimes, they will unknowingly assume that that will be the exact same case for their child, when their child can often give them reasons why that will be the case. The idea here is for parents to be able to communicate effectively with their child, to reason with them, to listen to them, and to come to a mutual agreement where both of them win, rather than the parent just saying, no, you cannot do this just because I say so, or the teenager saying, you're being unfair, and this doesn't make any sense. So this is another article that I found about Carl E. Pickhart once again, which says that these assumptions attempt to figure out what is probably going on in the other person's mind or life, starting in a state of ignorance. They are usually developed and disordered by feelings of insecurity, anxiety, distrust, worry, and suspicion. Of course, if you had a terrible first experience, then of course, you, as a parent, you're not going to want to put your child to go through that. But it's important to understand the difference. As I mentioned before, we are different generations. We are a generation that is constantly trying to adapt to the change that is happening in the world. And we are so lucky and blessed to have our parents to back us up. So where I'm going with this TED Talk and why I'm standing here today speaking to all of you is because I want to have an amazing relationship with my parents. I want to be able to speak with them, communicate with them, listen to them. I want to learn from them and I want to become a better person. I want to make them proud. And I wish that all of you would reflect with me today and we can just think, how can we have a better relationship with our parents? The answer is simple. We just have to listen to each other. We have to communicate and we have to be there for each other. Because after all, our friends may come and they may go, but our family will always stick with us through everything.